Hey people, it's me, Allison. Hey, I decided that today I wanted to make this video here about um, a local high school who decided that a teacher who, um, she issued an assignment for the students and um, the assignment included sex toys and these, um, these students look like they're in high school and um how old are you in high school 15 16 17 18 all right i don't care if you're still in school you're too young for sex toys you should not know what they are you shouldn't be having sex but not of age all right we should be discouraging the behavior of um you know, it's okay to be curious, but we should be discouraging the behavior because, you know, we don't want the kids to break laws. We don't want Romeo and Juliet situations happening. We, it, these are things that we should be tabling until college. Okay? So, a teacher today, well, actually it would be yesterday, June 17th, on the last day of school, decided she was going to issue an assignment to make dildos. I can't say I've ever had a teacher assign me to make dildos, even in college. Okay? I mean, that's a very private, personal thing that people choose to do, either in a relationship or, you know, at Cirilla's by themselves. Okay? High schoolers clearly don't need to be doing these activities but there's more okay and it leads to much more okay this is part of the indoctrination they've told us about this and people are starting to wake up because when their kids were doing an online school you know where they were on one of these things and they could see all their friends and little boxes and stuff like that you know for a little while that was cool but then the parents are like hmm What's going on on little Johnny's computer? I don't think I really like what's going on here. So it sparked their attention. But I want to give somewhat of a disclaimer to this video and to what I'm talking about to give it a little history. Look, educators have been indoctrinating children, impressionable, curious, vulnerable, um, growing, um, changing children, young children. They've been indoctrinating them probably since after World War II would be my best guess. Um, did they try to control my thoughts and uh, indoctrinate me in school? Hell yeah. Did it work? Absolutely not and they knew it and they did everything they could to get me the hell out of that school yeah i went to a couple different schools but by the time high school happened they pretty much knew that they knew i knew and i knew they knew who i was all right so they didn't try to change that okay that's important that's very important because you have your own unique identity. And you can't let anybody take that away from you. But anyways, back to this teacher and her, her assignment. Yeah. So, she had to show students that didn't know what that thing, the 11th finger. They didn't know what it looked like. All right. So she sent in a private chat um, pictures. Yeah. Dick pics. You know, those things that us ladies get that we don't really care for, but we still get them anyways, right? So a private chat, totally appropriate, right? If you're going to send somebody dick pics, do it in a private chat. All right. So she did. And, um, Let's see, she showed porno in the classroom. Okay, I guess that is um, 
the standard now, according to the things that I've heard for showing porno in the classroom. That's new, by the way, because, no, they didn't do that stuff when I was coming up. There's no way. Um, let's see. Lenise McNair Levi. That's this woman's name. So, Mrs. McNair Levi. What's our assignment today? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't be, imagine being the teacher who answered that question. Really? Um, yeah, class, we're going to make dildo. Red, blue, green, or pink. <laughs> how inappropriate. Like, I'm laughing, but it's out of embarrassment because how inappropriate. We're the taxpayers. We pay for this stuff. Um, some of us are old enough to have children. I, they are in high school. My, I have a friend. They, his daughter just graduated last week. Hmm. Yeah, so we're old enough to have high school age children. But also, high school wasn't that long ago. So we know what happened there and we know what didn't happen there. Hmm. Huh. So there's pictures of these creations, as they call them. They're online here. I'm scrolling through the page right now looking at it. Um, we're going to try and put it on the video here too so that you can see it and hopefully it's not too much loot of content for the audience to see because it really does depict what um the assignment was it's a very detailed very much um yeah there's a lot going on here the shape um there isn't necessarily a color it's just it's like making clay I guess, but it's not clay. <laughs> okay. I mean, what did we make? We made animals. We made ashtrays. We made we made bowls and stuff like that in high school. We didn't make sex toys. All right. That's what people are for. People and people. I mean, I didn't grow up with this kind of stuff. Like, I didn't know what sex toy or dildo was. Maybe I was 17 or 18. But I damn sure didn't see it in the school. No. I saw it like in a dumpster or something like that. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. The classroom is in an inappropriate place for this stuff. And and this woman here, Mrs. Um, Nair Levi, she, she knows that. But it appears that, um, you know, she's still teaching um medical occupations and previously served as the athletic trainer for the school for grand blank community schools i mean that's kind of creepy i remember in school we had a creepy athletic trainer and um somebody told me that if i start my period i should go ask her for a pad and, and and this lady who was so goddamn creepy, I mean, she had, like, witch hair. Her skin was weird. And it's like, she's the last person I'd ask for a pad. I'd be rolling up that, that TP and just putting that baby in there because, you know what, there's no way I was going to ask her for anything. I mean, eh. well, come to find out, her name was, uh, gosh, I can't remember her name, and I don't want to dox her. She might not even be alive, but Mrs. Adrienne, okay, and she was the, um, the same job here. She was, like, an athletic director, trainer. She basically made sure you had all your paperwork to go into sports and that your grades were up, and, um, she was so creepy, so creepy, you guys. And I think they walked her out um, shortly before I was um, left middle school because she had done something inappropriate. So here we are, 20-some years later, and we haven't changed. We haven't evolved. We haven't made 
ourselves better people for the future of people, the children. We haven't stopped abusing them. We haven't stopped doing creepy shit. I was like, look, it's getting worse now. We're making sex toys in high school. Where does it end? Because this began. And it didn't need to. And it's gross. And look. Um, Lanice, McNair, Levi, most likely will be at school in the fall with your children at Grand Blank High School. Alright? She's a woman. She's African American. And there's no talks of her even. Nothing about her. Being on administrative leave. Or. Um, getting fired. Or anything like that. Going in front of the school board. There's no talks of any of it. Alright so. You can see she showed videos inappropriate to kids. And it's not the first time. I guess she also showed, according to the article, the 2010 movie Human Centipede. And that's a movie about a mad scientist who kidnaps and mutilates a trio of tourists in order to reassemble them as a human centipede. What's a human centipede? I mean, they were created by stitching their mouths to each other. And, like, they basically put one person at the end so there was one mouth and then the other part. That. The a-hole. That thing. Okay? And she based the lesson plan on the movie and why 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 watch a movie that makes somebody a human centipede so it looks like a penis okay just like the dildos do you realize there might be a high schooler who is afraid of a penis he might even have a penis and he's afraid of a penis all right, because what do we go through psychologically in high school? We're uncomfortable with our bodies. We might be trying to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And we care a lot more earlier in our lifetime about how we look than ever. I mean, once you get into your 20s, you're more than happy to go somewhere in your sweatpants and not care what your hair looks like, right? These are children. They are high school students who are trying to prepare for the next step of life. I just can't believe that there is no outrage over this. That there aren't tons of parents in that school saying, how dare you? How dare you? do this to my child where's the outcry because i'm not seeing it and along with the sexualizing the children it goes much further than that i have a lot to say about this one because sexualizing the children makes them revolutionaries, makes them want to fight, makes them want to believe in something, all right? Because you took everything they believed in, love, family, unity, and you stripped it away from them. So what do they have left to do? But go bang whoever they want and not care not care about that person's feelings because those aren't important. You've stripped that from them. You've stripped them of emotion and you're just basically teaching 
young high school students. The other people's bodies are just objects, including their own. Just objects. We're just gonna do a little of that and um hey we're gonna call it good i don't want to see you i don't want to know any of your friends peace out uh yeah nice to know you and thanks for letting me use your vagina yeah that's the culture that we've created and these are children they're children they are doing this I can't stress this enough. Where are the values? Where is the respect? Where is any of that being taught by the teachers? Do they even have it on their own? I bet they do. They go home every night. They get paid a healthy wage. They live in decent houses. They usually have decent partners. They don't want you or your child to have a decent life because they're doing this stuff. Where does it end? All right. With with this lady here, she's only, Mrs. McNair Levi, she is only one of many. And over a very long span of time. The only reason why this is here in the news is because they want it to be. They want to normalize this bullshit. And every time you let your kid attend public school, you allow it. It doesn't matter how many school board meetings you go to. They're still teaching your kid how to make a deal up. And because People are kind of with their back against the wall right now. They don't have enough money to fill their gas tank. They don't have enough money to make some of their bills because a lot of people in America live beyond their means. They don't have enough money for child care because that's very expensive. And a lot of people don't trust their kids in America to leave them home alone or there are certain lies against that stuff or whatever. It's pretty dang simple. If you raise your kids right, you don't have to worry about child care or any of that stuff. Okay? I mean, maybe when they're... Yeah, sure. But you have to teach them it's some independence. And it's not being done with this. I mean, in a sick way, they might be learning how to be independent by, you know... But this doesn't teach us how to people with each other. This isn't something that uh, we can say it's interactive. I can't say, well, I helped Susie on her project today because it's disgusting. Why would you want to touch somebody else or something else in a school? Um, it just blows my mind, man. Every time parents send their kids to school, you're complying with two different things, indoctrination and division of family. I'm going to wrap this one up with a one-liner to give you something to think about. This current issue is going on right now, and you're worried about guns in a school. Guns can do some pretty bad things to people, but they also save a lot of lives, okay? They're teaching your kids how to make a deal, though. And you're worried about guns. All right, America, you've heard my speech on this. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to stand to the side, and I'm not going to let up any time soon about how I feel about this. Some kid out there is scared to go back to school, and it's not because of a gun. 
It's because of a teacher that made him make an inappropriate thing at school and then told him to have a nice summer. Think about that one. Because guns aren't the problem here. Have a nice day, y'all.